Today is the first day of the Play of the Game conference here in Aarhus. One of the first discussions this afternoon was about the Armstrong case and what it says about the condition of sport. This discussion was led by General Counsel William Bock from the United States Anti-Doping Agency who spoke of the trauma that doping causes elite cyclists. When I think of the Tour de France, and perhaps you're the same, I think of a long line of brightly colored cyclists against the backdrop of the Alps or the Pyrenees on a sunny day. The cyclists tell you a different story. Tyler Hamilton and Floyd Landis will tell you a blood transfusion's gone bad. Breaking out in a cold sweat alone in a hotel room, pain racking their bodies because they had used blood that wasn't stored properly. Of spending a sleepless night between stages of the tour wondering if they would die from an infection from the bad blood they had infused. Bock detailed that the public criticism of Armstrong after he was found guilty highlights that unregulated doping would result in a lack of public interest in the sport. You see, the Armstrong case points to the value, which I believe is almost universally shared, and that is the view that a strong factor that gives elite competitive sport meaning and value is the belief that the performances that we see in t on TV are not chemistry experiments. Take away the rules relating to performance enhancing drug use and I think you'd see a significant loss of interest in sport. USADA doesn't acknowledge the Armstrong era. Bock says team doctors and officials, rather than individuals, should be exposed. He confirms that doping is still evident in cycling, but that USADA is serious about changing that. Ladies and gentlemen, if you care about sport, if you care about the hundreds of, if not thousands, of young men who are enticed to devote their lives to a beautiful sport and then coerced into a life of doping, do not look the other way of uh, Mr. Cookson and the UCI. The, the future in cycling will be better. And I would just urge you um, to keep your eyes on the process of anti-doping and support. Please do not look the other way. Thank you.